DTV presents Gentle Giants with Pam Minnick and Katie Kaufman. Come along with us as we explore the Indiana State Fair. This is the state's bicentennial. It's a celebration 200 years in the making. Now, when you think Indianapolis, you might think the Indy 500 or the Indianapolis Colts football, but ranking right up there with the largest events in the state and certainly the oldest is the Indiana State Fair. And this is one of the largest draft horse shows we've ever seen. Draft horses have a long tradition in Indiana agriculture, and it's not uncommon to still see draft horses working the fields with farmers in rural areas. So it's no surprise that all of the draft horse classes are filled with big, beautiful horses. We'll show you the various events and bring you the history of the exciting fair when Gentle Giants begins. Stay with us. Welcome back to Gentle Giants at the Indiana State Fair. The first fair was held in the area in 1852, more than 160 years ago, to encourage agriculture growth and promotion in the area. And draft horses have been a big part of the rich history ever since. In fact, competitors come from across the U.S. and Canada and make their plans to attend this fair every August. It's just the place to be is the Indiana State Fair. It's got a great reputation, they treat you well, and they've been doing it for a long time, and people really like to come here. The draft horses are a part of what I call the soul of this place. I mean, there are traditions that we have in Indiana, and, and as you look at fairs across the country, state fairs, county fairs, they all have a different heart. They all have a different beat to them. And this one in Indiana, we pride ourselves on our livestock shows. So the draft horses have always had a key centerpiece, an exclamation mark in, in what we do here. The Indiana State Fair has been uh, steeped in tradition, especially in agriculture and in education. And I think those two things go together very, very importantly. Um, years ago, it used to be farmers educating farmers. Now it's farmers and producers educating consumers. We're very proud of that heritage. The facilities that we have for the draft, uh, the draft people is unbelievable. And from the first day of the fair, people start asking, when's the draft horse coming? When's the big horses coming? When we get to, do we get to see the hitches? And that, that's a big draw. Uh, one of the biggest draws probably we have here at the, sta here at the state fair. Lots of people in Indiana have, have had draft horses, especially with Amish communities and such. So they've been throughout the state for a long time, and luckily we have a state fair that appreciates that, and it gives us great facilities to have national shows. My great-grandfather started working in the draft horse department in 1948. Uh, after that, my grandfather was the first assistant, so we've been here for a long time. Then my father, now my aunt works as the superintendent, and I'm on the board of directors, so I work with this department as well. So that's four generations. You have people that care so much about it and want to continue to give back. So you, we've seen the draft horses grow and now we have these national shows that we are, we are filled with pride when the arena is filled with those draft horses. So the Coliseum and the adjoining building, which is called the Youth Pavilion, we can do halter classes in the Youth Pavilion while we have a major event in here. I mean, Indiana State Fair probably has one of the nicest barns and arenas that we show in in the country. I mean, it's, this barn's air conditioned, it's beautiful, good stalls, and connected directly to the arena. So it's, it's a fun place to show, and it has a beautiful arena that's probably one of the best arenas for us to drive in in the country that we really enjoy coming here. And it's a really excellent run show that the management does such a great job running this show that it makes it fun for us as exhibitors to come and show here. It's got a nice solid wall that you know the horses don't have crowd directly in their face that you know they're not distracted by that and you know you can run right up to the wall all the way around. I know the exhibitors love it. The ring we hear compliments on how good it is to drive all the time. 
started with the architects and engineers to determine the exact size of that ring because we knew livestock loved it. We knew draft horses loved it. And so when we first started designing, it was all about the, the center arena. And from this wall, then we built from that all the way up. This is actually a very nice arena to drive for. It has very tall walls, so your horses can't see the crowd. It has very nice sweeping corners, so it's, their corners are great to get in. Once you get in that ring, um, it's super easy to drive in this ring. We're fortunate to have about 19,000 livestock and companion animal entries on average at the Indiana State Fair. In talking with a lot of other people from different species, uh, that even though we have a great, really high level type of exhibitor uh, that exhibits in Indiana from, from dogs to sheep uh, to hogs and our dairy and beef cattle, even they have a great respect for the draft tour shows that occur at the Indiana State Fair. Uh, they may be unloading or loading in or walking animals in from tieouts but when they see those draft horses or they see uh, those vans come in, uh, they stop and they watch and they look. In my opinion, they're the best marketing tool, tool of any American company ever. Um, it's just synonymous with draft horses. Everybody knows the Budweiser Clad Sales. Well, we travel about 300 days a year. Every week we go to a new city. So we are stabled and housed everywhere, every uh, stabling that you could imagine. But this week here, we're inside, it's a very great facility, and we're part of the draft horses right here, and we can actually go, have our wagon right inside here and go straight into the ring, and it makes so we don't have to have any weather that's bothering us, or even if it's raining outside, we can still hitch inside and be under the weather. It's a great, great facility to be at. It takes a lot of unity for eight horses this size, 2,000 pounds each, to work together and really become as one unit in the arena and a lot of the driver has to be very, very concentrated and be a part of the horse essentially and think before the horses to make it all happen the way it does. The docking procedure that we do is how they used to do it back in the days when they were able to actually deliver the beer with the wagon and then they would make the horses, they would back up to the dock and then they would turn the horses sideways, allow the traffic to pass on by. Then the Dalmatian would sit on top of the wagon and guard the horses in the wagon while the driver would make the delivery. And then when they come back out, they would go back onto the street and continue on with their delivery. We travel with 10 horses uh, throughout the year and one of our special horses is, uh, that has a special place in my heart, his name is Donnie. He's the largest of our horses. He's about 19 hands. A hand is four inches in horse terms and weighs about 2,400 pounds. And uh, we acquired him from a breeder named Donnie Langell. Oh, he's kind of special to us. We raised him and they came along one year, oh, probably three or four years ago now and wanted a good young two-year-old gelding and we had him out there and they bought him and now he's their anchor, the right wheel of their hitch. His main role is in the right wheel position, which is closest to the wagon. And most of the weight is pulled by the wheeler, which is, which is the position closest to the wagon. And so we want our largest, strongest horses closest to the wagon. And he truly, truly is a gentle giant. He... Well, as we all know, everyone loves seeing those Budweiser Clydesdales. When Gentle Giants returns, the Percherons and the Clydesdale six horse hitches will enter the Coliseum. You won't want to miss it. Welcome back to Gentle Giants. The Indiana State Fair Draft Horse Show is so well attended that the breed groups move in and compete at different times. Today, the Clydesdale and Percheron six horse hitches pack the Coliseum, which the drivers say is an excellent place to show. Well, not only is this a great show and great competition, but it is our national show for the Clydesdale end of it, as well as the Percheron breed um, and then the National Belgian Show next week. And there are so many competitors that uh, they have to rotate weeks. So this week it's the Perchins and Clydesdales competing uh, simultaneously. 
here and uh, we've got the best of the best here. We've got uh, really good competitors on both ends, the uh, Pertrins and Clydesdales. Everybody knows if you want to go where the competition is, you go to Indiana State Fair. Um, the greatest uh, competitors come here and uh, it's always been a tremendous show. The facilities are, are second to none and it's, it's just a great competition at all levels. I mean, I think so many hitches come here for the six horse hitch. One, because it's now the national show for both the Pertrins and Clydesdales. But, you know, as exhibitors, it's fun to go to shows that are well run. And, you know, it makes it more fun for us um, because everything goes smooth. When things go smooth, it just takes some of the stress out of it. And, you know, that's why people keep coming back. And, you know, this is one of the shows that it's, it's a long ways for us to travel, but it's a show that I'd hate to, to give up. It's a very interactive crowd. I mean, you can tell like when they come in, they definitely have their favorites and, you know, certain areas of the arena, you'll hear have, a, you know, their favorite within the, the arena and it, it kind of makes it neat that they're that interactive and get really behind the hitches that they support. It's just huge um, and it's gotten bigger and bigger. There used to be a time where it was just in this barn. Um, now we've had yeah, two barns full and they're slam full. Um, we're taking entries. Everybody wants to come here. It, it's a great show, it's great facilities. Uh, Perchons and Clydesdales are in right now. Uh, the Belgians, Draft Ponies, and Halflingers will be in uh, later in the week uh, after this show. So it's just amazing that we're able, and it's a great testament to our exhibitors. Uh, we love our exhibitors and they do a great job. They put on a great show. We've got marvelous six horse hitches here. That er the crowd in there in the Coliseum is amazing every year. Indiana State Fair because uh, it actually is a national Pertron show, but uh, it draws a lot of horses because uh, people know that there's going to be a lot of competition here. Kirk's assembled a real unique group. They're very, very athletic and a, and a large group of horses that makes, uh, that makes them pretty special that they're that athletic and that large. They're a, they're a tough group, but the biggest thing that's tough with them is to keep them focused. They're kind of a, they're a very uh, unique group in that they want to look around and kind of look at stuff. So to keep them focused and doing their job is probably the biggest challenge. They do take a, a fair hold on as far as pulling on you, but the biggest thing is just to keep them all going the same direction. to have uh, an owner have that much appreciation and know because he has done it for over 30 years himself and to know the work that goes into it and to have that level of appreciation is awesome. goodness I can't even believe how cool this feeling is oh these horses have, have been on a roll you know we got to win Calgary and and now this this is just unbelievable feeling the horsepower uh, is tremendous just being down on the floor first of all with that many horses at one time when they started moving I know that's a huge structure but I swear the floor was vibrating uh, being able to get on a, uh, one of those hitches and ride out with the winning hits last night was uh, uh, I guess you could say a childhood dream. You know, I used to set up in those seats and just say, boy, would it be extra spatial uh, to do that. And I had that opportunity last night. And to set up above those horses and to sense the power, you know, there might be only six horses, but there's a lot more than six horsepower out there in front of you. And it was just an awesome experience and uh, uh, one I wished everybody could, uh, could enjoy sometime in their life.
the eight horse hitch. Actually, it is, uh, you know, the six, you just hook the six at most every place. There's only a couple shows that have an eight. So you don't really drive it that much. Uh, actually, hopefully we got a really nice eight, but uh, you never know. When you add two more horses out there, uh, it's just about another 15 feet. Uh, and it just makes it that much harder to make your corners, uh, to like get into the ring, get through the people. But hopefully everybody has a great uh, class tonight with the eight and uh, see what happens. Eight horse hitch here is a has a very good turnout. There's usually a very strong, probably the strongest, one of the strongest, most competitive eight horse hitches that will hook throughout the year. Um, you know, only a major, a small majority of the shows that we show at have an eight horse hitch class. I would say out of the 10, 12 shows we go to a year, maybe four or five times we'll hook an eight. So it's always exciting to show an eight horse hitch, and it's something that we uh, tend to stride for is the eight. Congratulations to the Mark Messenger Memorial Hitch. There's more draft horse classes at the Indiana State Fair when Gentle Giants returns. Stay with us. Welcome back to Gentle Giants. The Indiana State Fair provides a great place for draft horse owners to compete, see old friends, and to meet new ones. From halter to cart, you can have a lot of fun here with just one horse. When, when we first started, we came to the Indiana State Fair first show with a six-month-old Clydesdale. And that six-month-old Clydesdale more, knew more about what he was doing than we did. I mean, no idea. In the halter class, didn't know what we were doing. And we placed. And it was so exciting. And if you have a horse, if you have a young horse, this is a great place to be. If you then progress to having a cart, it's exciting. And that's what we did. And we first moved up to the cart class and now to the wagon. And so it's really exciting to go through the progress of it. Uh, and, and we've had friends here that have watched us. I have people that don't even know my name who will say, oh, I remember you. When you showed that horse that first year and now they've become friends. So it's really exciting. The real message is you don't have to have, be a millionaire to, to own a cart, to own a perch run, and to show a perch run. Um, we have a number of cart classes for uh, ladies, men's, junior carts. And so really, what, you can have one horse and you can go to a fair or a show and, and exhibit uh, through a lot of classes. Not only do we have hitch classes here, of course we have the halter classes, the confirmation classes, we have riding classes. Um, we're starting to see, as we're breeding this perch run more athletic, People are wanting to ride this horse in dressage. They're wanting to ride it as a hunter jumper. Uh, its size, its durability. The Indiana State Fair is where it's at. It's the best competition for the Pertrans especially and has been for 20 some years. Well, they're favored because they're better. Like, they're more athletic, I think. They're, they're almost like, they're a draft horse, but they got some light horse type features in their neck, you know, they got a way more light horse type neck. And I think they just have way more athleticism at this point in time than the other. I think right now they're just far ahead of the other draft breeds. A reason the exhibitors come back year after year, and we've got world class facilities, we've got a world class staff. We've got great exhibitors, uh, so we make the atmosphere all we can. 
Indiana State Fair uh, really represents uh, learning by doing, which is so important to agriculture and that those young people, whether it's in any of our livestock species and especially in the draft horse, can come and experience um, and be a part of, of really the, the majestic end uh, performance and, and competition and that learning by doing um, is so important. When this Coliseum is filled with all these hitches and all these drivers and all these people that take such pride in their draft horses and then the pride and the energy from the audience, I mean it is just one of those times where it kind of gives you goosebumps just to be in this building and know that we've had an impact on people here at the Indiana State Fair. We want to thank all of you for joining us this time on Gentle Giants. Pam and I had such a great time at the Indiana State Fair, and their slogan reads, Happy Happens Here, and I can say it, it absolutely certainly does. does. <laughs> we want to thank the staff here who put on such a great draft horse show. We talked to all the competitors, and they said one of the reasons they like to come here is because this staff knows draft horses. Make your plans to visit the Indiana State Fair next August. You can see everything on their website, indianastatefair.com and join us here next week on Gentle Giant. And in the meantime, as always, you can see what's new on our Facebook page. Bye now. Gentle Giants is brought to you in part by Total Feeds. With me is Dr. Harry Anderson, the founder. As we travel through horse shows and competitions, we see a lot of horses on Total Equine. Why does it benefit horses that are traveling and on the road? Well, Pam, there are several things that happen when you're traveling with a horse. First of all, even the most veteran of horses are going to get a little tense hauling them down the road all the time. They tend to not, maybe not drink as much as they should. And if they don't drink well, they don't eat well. And if they don't eat well, a lot of things start going bad in the body. Their performance goes down. And, but with total equine, two, several things happen. One is we keep a healthy gut so they don't get that bellyache. They want to eat better. If they eat better, they're going to drink better. And if they stay hydrated, they're going to stay more relaxed. And we've talked about the quietness of horses on total equine. If they can resist getting overwrought with that stress, they walk out of their trailer ready to go because they're hydrated and they're relaxed.